Bereshit Genesis chapter 28 verse 10 And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he came upon a place and stopped over for the night, for the sun was down. And he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head, and he lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and saw a ladder standing on the earth, and its top reached to the Shamayim, and saw messengers of Elohim going up and coming down on it. And see, Yahweh stood above it and said, I am Yahweh, Elohim of Abraham your father and the Elohim of Yitzhak. The land on which you are lying, I give it to you and your seed. And your seed shall be as the dust of the earth and you shall break forth to the west and to the east, to the north and the south. And all the clans of the earth shall be Baruch in you and your seed. And see, I am with you and shall guard you wherever you go and shall bring you back to this land. For I am not going to leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. And Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Truly, Yahweh is in this place and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of Elohim, and this is the gate of the Shamayim. And Jacob rose early in the morning and took the stone that he had put at his head, put it up as a standing column, and poured oil on top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. However, the name of that city has been loosed previously. And Jacob made a vow saying, Seeing Elohim is with me and has kept me in this way that I am going and has given me bread to eat and a garment to put on. When I have returned to my father's house in peace and Yahweh shall be my Elohim, then this stone, which I have placed as a standing column, shall be Elohim's house. And of all that you give me, I shall certainly give a tenth to you. Chapter 29 And Jacob moved on and came to the land of the people of the east. And he looked and saw a well in the field, and saw three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well they watered the flocks, and a large stone was on the well's mouth. And all the flocks would be gathered there. Then they would roll the stone from the well's mouth and water the sheep, and put the stone back in its place on the well's mouth. So Jacob said to them, My brothers, where are you from? And they said, We are from Haran. And he said to them, Do you know Laban, son of Nahor? And they said, We know him. So he said to them, Is he well? And they said, Well. And see, his daughter Rachel is coming with the sheep. And he said, It is still high day, not the time for the livestock to be gathered together. Water the sheep and go and feed them. But they said, We are not allowed until all the flocks are gathered together and they have rolled the stone from the whale's mouth. Then we shall water the sheep. While he was still speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she was a shepherdess. And it came to be, when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, that Jacob went near and rolled the stone from the whale's mouth and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. And Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted up his voice and wept. And when Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's relative and that he was Ribka's son, she ran and told her father. And it came to be 
when Laban heard the report about Jacob, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. Then he told Laban all these matters. And Laban said to him, You are indeed my bone and my flesh. And he stayed with him for a month. Then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, should you therefore serve me for naught? Let me know, what should your wages be? And Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. And Leah's eyes were weak, but Rachel was lovely of form and appearance. And Jacob loved Rachel. So he said, let me serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to you than I should give her to another man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed to him but a few days because of the love he had for her. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are completed, and let me go into her. And Laban gathered all the men of the place and made a feast. And it came to be in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob. And he went into her. And Laban gave his female servant, Zilpah, to his daughter Leah as a female servant. And in the morning it came to be that, see, it was Leah. So he said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? Was it not for Rachel that I served you? Why then have you deceived me? And Laban said, It is not done this way in our place, to give the younger before the firstborn. Complete the week of this one. Then we give you this one too. For the service which you shall serve with me, still another seven years. And Jacob did so, and completed her week. Then he gave him his daughter Rachel as wife. And Laban gave his female servant Bilhah to his daughter Rachel as a female servant. And he also went into Rachel, and he also loved Rachel more than Leah. And he served with Laban still another seven years. And Yahweh saw that Leah was unloved, and he opened her womb. But Rachel was barren. And Leah conceived and bore a son. And she called his name Reuben, for she said, For Yahweh has looked on my affliction, because now my husband is going to love me. And she conceived again and bore a son, and said, Because Yahweh has heard that I am in love, he gave me this son too. And she called his name Shimon. And she conceived again and bore a son, and said, now, this time my husband is joined to me, because I have borne him three sons. So his name was called Levi. And she conceived again and bore a son. Now I praise Yahweh. So she called his name Yehuda, and she ceased bearing. Chapter 30 And when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children. Rachel envied her sister and said to Jacob, Give me children or else I am going to die. And Jacob's displeasure burned against Rachel and he said, Am I in place of Elohim, who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb? And she said, See, my female servant, Bilhah, go into her, and let her bear over my knees, and let me be built up from her as well. So she gave him Bilhah, her female servant, as his wife. And Jacob went into her, and Bilhah conceived and bore Jacob a son. And Rachel said, Elohim has rightly ruled my case, and has also heard my voice, and given me a son. So she called his name Dan. And Rachel's female servant, Bilhah, conceived again and bore Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, 
with great wrestlings I have wrestled with my sister, and I have overcome. So she called his name Naphtali. And Leah saw that she had ceased bearing, and she took Zilpah, her female servant, and gave her to Jacob as wife. And Leah's female servant, Zilpah, were Jacob his son. And Leah said, What luck! So she called his name Gad. And Leah's female servant, Bilhah, bore Jacob his second son. And Leah said, I am Baruch, for the daughter shall call me Baruch. So she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest, and found love apples in the field, and brought them to his mother Leah. And Rachel said to Leah, Please give me some of your son's love apples. But she said to her, Is it a small matter that you have taken away my husband? Would you take away my son's love apples too? And Rachel said, Therefore, let him lie with you tonight for your son's love apples. And when Jacob came out of the field in the evening, Leah went out to meet him and said, Do come in to me, for indeed I have hired you with my son's love apples. And he lay with her that night. And Elohim listened to Leah, and she conceived and bore Jacob a fifth son. And Leah said, Elohim has given me my hire, because I have given my female servant to my husband. So she called his name Yishakar. And Leah conceived again, and bore Jacob a sixth son. And Leah said, Elohim has presented me with a good present. Now my husband is going to dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. So she called his name Zebulun. And afterward, she bore a daughter and called her name Dinah. And Elohim remembered Rachel, and Elohim listened to her and opened her womb. And she conceived and bore a son and said, Elohim has taken away my reproach. So she called his name Joseph, and said, Yahweh has added to me another son. And it came to be, when Rachel had born Joseph, that Jacob said to Laban, Send me on my way to go my own place and to my land. Give my wives and my children for whom I have served you, and let me go. For you yourself know my service, which I have done for you. And Laban said to him, If I have found favor in your eyes, please stay. For I have diligently watched that Yahweh has baracked me for your sake. And he said, Name me your wages, and I give it. So he said to him, You know how I have served you and how your livestock has been with me. For the little you had before I came has increased greatly, and Yahweh has baracked you since my coming. But now, when I am to provide for my own house too? And he said, What do I give you? And Jacob said, Give me naught. If you do this for me, I shall again feed and guard your flocks. Let me pass through all your flock today removing from there all the speckled and spotted sheep and all the black ones among the lambs, and the spotted and the speckled among the goats, and these shall be my wages. And my righteousness shall answer for me in time to come, when you come concerning my wages. Every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats and black among the lambs, it is stolen if it is with me. And Laban said, See, let it be according to your word. And on that day he put aside the male goats that were speckled and spotted, and all the female goats that were speckled and spotted, every one that had some white in it, and all the black ones among the lambs, and gave them into the hands of his sons. And he put three days' journey between himself and and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. 
And Jacob took for himself rods of green poplar, and of the almond and chestnut trees, peeled white strips in them, and exposed the white which was in the rods. And he put the rods which he had peeled before the flocks in the gutters, in the watering troughs, where the flocks came to drink. And they conceived when they came to drink. So the flocks conceived before the rods, and the flocks brought forth streaked, speckled, and spotted. And Jacob separated the lambs, and made the flocks face toward the streaked, and all the black in the flock of Laban. But he put his own flocks by themselves, and did not put them with Laban's flock. And it came to be, whenever the strong ones of the flock conceived that Jacob placed the rods before the eyes of the flock in the gutters, so they would conceive among the rods. But when the flocks were weak, he did not put them in. So the weak ones were Laban's, and the strong ones Jacob's. Thus the man increased very much, and had many flocks, and female and male servants, and camels and donkeys. Chapter 31 And he heard the words of Laban's son, saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, and from what belonged to our father he has made all this wealth. And Jacob would look at the face of Laban and see that it was not toward him as before. And Yahweh said to Jacob, Return to the land of your fathers and to your relatives, and I am with you. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field, to his flock, and said to them, I see your father's face, that it is not toward me as before. But the Elohim of my father has been with you. And you know that I have served your father with all my strength. Yet your father has deceived me and changed my wages ten times. But Elohim did not allow him to do evil to me. When he said this, the speckled are your wages. Then all the flocks bore speckled. And when he said this, the streaked are your wages. Then all the flocks bore streaked. So Elohim has taken away the livestock of your father and given them to me. And it came to be at the time when the flocks conceived that I lifted my eyes and looked in a dream and saw the rams which leaped upon the flocks were streaked, speckled, and mottled. And the messenger of Elohim spoke to me in a dream, saying, Jacob. And I said, here I am. And he said, Lift your eyes now and see. All the rams which leap on the flocks are streaked, speckled, and mottled. For I have seen all that Laban is doing to you. I am the El of Bethel, where you anointed the standing column, and where you made a vow to me. Now rise up, get out of this land, and return to the land of your relatives. And Rachel and Leah answered and said to him, Do we still have any portion or inheritance in our father's house? Are we not reckoned by him as strangers? For he has sold us, and also entirely consumed our silver. For all the wealth which Elohim has taken from our father are ours and our children's. Now then, do whatever Elohim has told you. So Jacob rose and put his sons and his wives on camels, and he drove off all his livestock and all his possessions which he had acquired, his property of the livestock which he had acquired in Padan Aram, to go to his father, Yitzhak, in the land of Canaan. And when Laban had gone to shear his sheep, Rachel stole the house idols that were her father's. And Jacob stole the heart of Laban, the Armenian, because he did not inform him that he was about to flee. And he fled with all that he had, and he rose up and passed over the river and headed toward the mountains of Gilead. And on the third day, Laban was told that Jacob had fled. Then he took his brothers with him and pursued him for seven days' journey. And he overtook him in the mountains of Gilead. But in a dream by night, 
Elohim came to Laban, the Armenian, and said to him, Guard yourself, that you do not speak to Jacob either good or evil. Then Laban overtook Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mountains, and Laban with his brothers pitched in the mountains of Gilead. And Laban said to Jacob, What have you done that you have stolen my heart and driven my daughters off like captives taken with the sword? Why did you flee secretly and deceive me and not inform me? I would have sent you away with joy and songs, with tambourine and lyre. And you did not allow me to kiss my sons and my daughters. Now have you been foolish to do this? It is in the power of my hand to do evil to you. But the Elohim of your father spoke to me last night, saying, Guard yourself, that you do not speak to Jacob either good or evil. And now you have gone, because you greatly long for your father's house. But why did you steal my mighty ones? And Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, lest you tear your daughters from me. With whomever you find your mighty ones, let him not live in the presence of your brothers. See for yourself what is with me, and take it with you. For Jacob did not know that Rachel had stolen me. And Laban went into Jacob's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the tents of the two female servants. But he did not find them, and he came out of Leah's tent and entered Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the house idols and put them in the camel's saddle and sat on them. And Laban searched all about the tent, but did not find them. And she said to her father, Let it not displease my master that I am unable to rise before you, for the way of women is with me. And he searched, but he did not find the house idols. And Jacob was wroth and contended with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my transgression? What is my sin that you have hotly pursued me? Now that you have searched all my goods, what have you found of all your household goods? Put it here before my brothers and your brothers and let them decide between the two of us. These twenty years I have been with you, your ewes and your female goats have not miscarried their young, and I have not eaten the rams of your sheep. That which was torn by beast I did not bring to you. I myself bore the loss of it. You required it from my hand, whether stolen by day or stolen by night. I was, by day the heat consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep fled from my eyes. These twenty years I have been in your house. I served you fourteen years for your two daughters, and six years for your flock, and you have changed my wages ten times. Unless the Elohim of my father, the Elohim of Abraham, and the awe of Yitzhak had been with me, you would now have sent me away empty-handed. Elohim has seen my affliction and the labor of my hands, and rendered judgment last night. And Laban answered and said to Jacob, These daughters are my daughters, and these children are my children, and this flock is my flock, and all that you see is mine. But what shall I do today to these my daughters or to their children whom they have borne? And now, come, let us make a covenant, you and I, and it shall be a witness between you and me. So Jacob took a stone and put it up as a standing column. And Jacob said to his brothers, Gather stones. And they took stones and made a heap, and they ate there on the heap. And Laban called it Yagar Sahuda, but Jacob called it Gilead. And Laban said, this heap is a witness between you and me today. That is why its name was called Gilead. Also, Mitzvah, 
because he said, Let Yahweh watch between you and me when we are out of each other's sight. If you afflict my daughters, or if you take other wives besides my daughters, although no man is with us, see, Elohim is witness between you and me. And Laban said to Jacob, See this heap, and see this standing column which I have placed between you and me. This heap is a witness, and this standing column is a witness, that I do not pass beyond this heap to you, and you do not pass beyond this heap and this standing column to me for evil. The Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Nahor, and the Elohim of their father rightly rule between us. And Jacob swore by the awe of his father, Yitzhak. And Jacob brought an offering on the mountain and called his brothers to eat bread. And they ate bread and spent the night on the mountain. And Laban rose up early in the morning and kissed his sons and daughters and Barak them. And Laban left and returned to his place. Chapter 32 And Jacob went on his way, and the messengers of Elohim met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is the camp of Elohim. And he called the name of that place Mahananim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, in the land of Seir, the field of Edom. Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.